Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're brand new. I'm Mike and my channel is Did You See That? Thank you for tuning into this video where today I've got to firstly give a big thank you to the awesome people over at Shudder for giving me an early access screener to a movie called The Strings. So I went into this completely blinded, only checking out a movie poster, which you can see right here, which really looked interesting and really piqued my attention and definitely the graphic art on the poster. I've got to give a big round of applause too because it is an attractive poster and certainly caught my interest. So this movie is directed by Ryan Glover who has worked with fellow writer in this movie Krista Dialonski, if I pronounced that correctly, I probably butchered that name, but the name will be right here if you want to see the name for yourself. Because the premise of this movie is essentially around this woman called Catherine, who goes to a remote cottage in this dead set of winter environment to work on some music material as she's kind of pressurised to produce some new musical material. However, when she's there, she actually finds that she's under attack by a dark, unknown, mysterious presence. So Ryan and Krista had actually worked on a movie called Hills Green back in 2013 before. So these two people aren't strangers to one another to then produce this new kind of style horrorized version, which is very unusual because this take on a horror movie is certainly unique as well. So I will give movie props for that. Why I'm going to say though ultimately is that this movie didn't cut it for me. But before I get into any of that, let me kind of tell you a little bit about some positives that I actually did pick out of this movie, because there certainly is some to be taken away. So the cast includes Tegan Johnson, who plays our lead of Catherine, Jenna Schaefer, who plays Grace. We've got a Laurie Bidler, a Toby Hendy, April Almiro, and a Tara Nuadalstomsky. So I'm sorry if I've butchered any of those names, but I do apologise, I did try pronouncing the best I can. So, Tegan Johnson plays our lead called Catherine. Now, in real life, Tegan Johnson does actually play music, and I do believe that she did help contribute towards the music in this movie, because the actual composer and score for this movie is by a gentleman called Adrian Ellis, who wrote an original score for this movie as well, and I'm not too sure how much Tegan actually had involvement in that. Anyway, what I'm going to say in terms of the positives is the score itself is very creepy. It certainly gives this movie a very creepy, sinister vibe because I felt throughout it, the score in the background certainly amplified a scene. You know, whether it's a chair moves by itself or whether it's like a creepy figure standing in the background, the music certainly amplified those scenes for me. And I was invested on those scenes. I thought, oh, wow, okay, great. Well, this is certainly something very, very different. And I also believe that this is Tegan Johnston's first ever acting performance and I think that for the most part she did a good job. She was kind of believable in terms of this musician who was also kind of struggling with some kind of inner demons as well but also trying to produce a soundtrack or some new music for this material that she is trying to work on in this remote cottage and for the most part that works because at the end of the day if for example if you're a creative person, a writer etc sometimes you need just you know a getaway from everything, mobile phones, sometimes computers or at least very minimal use of those things to kind of really hone in and concentrate on the material that you work on in general. What I want to say as well is the cinematography in this movie and the use of the location settings is beautiful. I believe it may have been shot in Canada, but I might be mistaken on that. This winter setting of this remote cottage and surrounding factors was beautiful. You could tell it was at the forefront of this movie and it should have been because it certainly gave like an eerie-ish atmosphere. But unfortunately for me, the negatives where it comes in kind of like outweighs this movie a lot. Now, I believe that this movie had big, potential. I definitely don't want Ryan or Chris or any of the cast and crew who watched this review, if any, take away that I didn't find some enjoyment, at least in this movie, because I felt like at some parts the writing was strong, but unfortunately for most parts, it wasn't because what it is, is it takes around half an hour for something to happen in this movie because we get some background about our main character Catherine and her struggles of music and personal struggles, etc. By all means, that's cool. You know, you've got to have some kind of explanation as to why she's feeling as she does. It just takes too long to get to that point though because I say it's usually till about 30 minutes in this movie to get to that. I felt like as if if they maybe chopped off some of this runtime, it would have definitely glued together. A lot more because for example we could have had that backstory in say 15 minutes hit on straight into this kind of creepy factor and what is going kind of on and i think it would have played off the movie 
far, far better. I also will admit that with Tegan Johnson's music that she does conduct. Now, by all means, I'm not an expert in music, so I can't comment on how easy or how hard it is to make some material or make a song. All I can say, though, is the music for me that she did play, some of it was okay, but for the most part, I wasn't really a big fan. Now, that's not to take away that she won't have an audience or that she could actually garner some really great fans behind her and rally behind her music and she may become a big artist. I would love to maybe listen to her works in the future, but for this movie, just critiquing that alone, I wasn't the biggest fan. But also, I think that the movie was slow and I was just waiting for something to happen. The pacing was a little bit all over the shop for me. Unfortunately, I felt like this movie had possibly a big potential especially as a Shudder original this movie could have definitely garnered the interest of people who aren't subscribed to the service and be like oh wow have you seen the movie The Strings well if not sign up to Shudder this could have really brought an audience to their platform but I felt like they missed the mark with this movie so yeah unfortunately I am going to say that I can't really recommend this movie but it isn't one I'm desperately going to go back and rewatch. so my overall rating for The Strings is but have you seen the strings? If you have, leave your comments down below and let me know what you thought of the movie. In the meantime, please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And until the next time that I see you, I'll be seeing you later.